happy Halloween. We are back with another tutorial. I'm going to start with my brows. I'm using the Medium Brow Brow Mousse by Tarte and I'm using a little Tarte brow pencil as well. We're just going to do brows pretty normal, um, kind of thicker on the ends but nothing crazy because we are basically painting over them kind of pretty much. So I'm just going to just do my brows as normal, just fill them in nice. I did a pomade just because I feel like with these kind of looks I want my brows to look a little bit more bold but I'm keeping it light in the front because I want you to really see those hairs. So I'm using the Rich Purple Brow Tones by Benefit and I'm just going through them just giving the brows a little purple color which is really cute. They do have like a brighter purple. Um, I didn't think of that one but I'll grab this one instead. Using an E62, I'm putting on the P. Louise base. I'm going to start at the brows and kind of highlight them and clean them up a little bit and then just bring it down all the way towards the lid and rub it in with my finger. But you kind of want this to be a little bit more opaque because we're going to do some really, really pretty eyeshadow and I want to make sure everything goes on really, really smooth. So I'm just going to blend that out. And then I do like to, to kind of blend it more with my finger. I feel like the warmth of your finger helps out a lot. Using the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions, I'm taking this pink matte color and a 2.2 by Samey. And we're going to start putting this in the crease area. Kind of just putting it back and forth. And using windshield wiper motions. Going all the way towards the inner corner and all the way towards the tail of the brow. Just going back and forth. These shadows by Huda, like they blend so beautiful. I'm taking a 2.3 and going in with that darker matte purple. And we're going to kind of make a halo effect. But I kind of went in a V cat shaped at the end, as you can see, kind of points out. Because we are the Cheshire Cat, so we want to have a little bit of a cat eye, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm just going to kind of flicker that eyeshadow outwards. And then I'm going to take an R39 with this shimmery, shimmery shade. It's like a blue tone. It's so pretty. And I'm going to kind of make a halo just going on the outer sides of the lid and not really putting too much in the center. So I'm going on the inner crease and the outer crease and kind of leaving the middle empty. Now taking this purple shade, super, and I never do this, I never really use like a purpley sparkly shade in the center, but look how beautiful this just adds to the look. So I feel like I need to like change up my techniques a little bit because I love the way that look. So now I'm taking a 122 pigment from Inglot and the Duraline. I'm using a flat brush, I believe that this is a 239 from MAC, and I'm just going to put that in the center. And I just love the way this looked. I'm kind of pushing the glitter up a little bit more because I kind of want you to see it when my eyes are open and I don't have that big of a lid, so we're going to pretend that I do. And we're going to put this glitter all the way up. Glitter, pigment, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to keep packing that on until I'm happy with that. And then I'm going with an E21 from Sigma. And with that deep purple shade, we're going to outline where the glitter stops and kind of cut crease effect it a little bit. Just so it looks really, really neat. And I just like the sharpness of that look. See, look how pretty it looks there. Now I'm just using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and we're going to do a classic wing because how can you not do a wing with being a cat? I feel like you need a wing. And I'm just going to do a very, very regular wing, maybe a little bit longer than usual, but nothing too crazy. I'm using the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. Still obsessed with this mascara. Even though I've been trying a ton, I still really, really love this one. So I'm just putting that all over my lashes. And then for lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell in Lexi. These are like my favorite right now. Just look how pretty and curly and wild are they. But they just look beautiful on the eye. Especially with this halo. Ooh, I freaking love it. So I'm putting that on with some Huda Beauty glue. And just throwing those on and making sure they're all nice. And then we're going to start the face. I'm using the Veil by Hourglass. I've been loving this primer lately. It's been like sitting on my desk and I completely like forgot about it. I hate doing that. I'm using this Meron paint palette and I'm using an E62 to start. 
and we're almost gonna make a line going across the face like a skull but I it's really gonna be like the mouth of the cat so it's gonna look like that skull kind of outline but we're gonna start making those teeth so it's gonna look more like a mouth so I'm using now this tiny little brush from Tarte because I just feel like wait, you need a tiny brush when you're painting like this, especially detailing the teeth like this. As you can see, now that I'm watching me do it, it kind of looks like I'm making just like zigzags. I'm making really zigzags. I'm making like arrows, if, whatever you want to call it, zigzags or arrows. That is basically what I'm doing. I'm trying to make the teeth really, really big, but I also want to have some, like a good amount of space in the center. I want it to look like the mouth is open slightly, but you know, smiling because the Cheshire Cat is super creepy. Um, I'm kind of going with the, like the new Cheshire Cat, but with the old Cheshire Cat colors, if that makes sense. I'm making the teeth all different sizes because I want it to just look really weird and creepy. So I'm giving like little teeth, like snaggle tooths, and you know, you can see right here, like it's kind of just looks like I'm making a whole bunch of arrows. So if that's an easy way to kind of understand how to make that space, then I would say it's arrows. Now I'm just filling this in with the white paint and I'm just filling it in on the other end. I love that I decided to use the double-ended liner brush because it just made my life so much easier. I didn't have to go through a million brushes and I was just using one, basically one or two brushes for this whole like face paint, which was really exciting. So here I'm trying to connect the teeth. You kind of want to keep your mouth open is what I learned after, you know, doing it. You want to keep your mouth open so you can see where the lines connect and then you'll be fine and it'll look like the teeth come down. I will fix that. You guys will see. I will fix it later in the video. But right now I'm just filling in the mouth area. We're going to bring that black line down and I'm actually going to be kind of cleaning up that black shaded area. And we're gonna make our nose with that pink color. I'm mixing a lavender and a pink paint. And then I'm going to make the nostrils a little bit more square looking so it looks like a snout. And yeah, I'm also using like another dual ended brush and it just made life so much easier. I'm going to outline the mouth now with that black. And I'm kind of just putting these smile lines there I know I'm gonna cover them but I'm putting them there just to see what it would look like you know I'm literally just sitting down doing this for the first time because that's just how I work with Halloween looks it's honestly how I work with every look I just sit down and do it so I'm taking an e40 with that lighter pink and we're just going to make a base for the face we are going to be doing a very hairy face but I want it to be somewhat colored instead of starting just on skin. So I'm just taking that pink and just putting that all over. Don't mind my wig application. I'm looking at it now and it looks a little wacky. I'm still learning with that. And you know, I just figured I'm wearing the wig for the video. I'm not going out, anything like that. So I'm taking the hot pink as you can see with that dual ended brush and we're going to make hair marks. So I'm going to go up and down the nose and then you're gonna go outwards on the sides of the face. I also am bringing down the hairs onto the teeth so it looks like the hair is coming over the mouth. Now with this you can go whatever way you want. Um, you know, you're going to detail the hair along the way so don't worry about it looking messy because right now it does look weird that it's just one color. But I am mixing back and forth between lavender and pink so it kind of has that cool mix. I'm gonna start with the brows too, kind of flicking upwards. And I'm also using that lavender as well. And you could see now that I'm putting a little bit more lavender in, the dimension is a little bit more, you know, there. I also mix a dark purple paint as well. And I'm just making little strokes underneath the eyes and throughout the face. My camera kept dying, so it's probably why you're seeing like bits of it. But yeah, look how cool that looks. I saw like a furry cat like... I think it was a Cheshire Cat actually, um, a picture on Pinterest and I just loved the way it was like a furry face. So that was like one of the things I needed to do for this tutorial and I was really, really happy with the way it came out. So I'm just going to make the forehead look furry and then you're going to add more dimension with 
the white paint as well. And you know, just putting that on the nose too so it looks like the nose is a little furry. And now I'm gonna draw those smile lines back up there. Yeah, I love the way that looks. It's so freaking cool. Okay, so now we're gonna make the neck. So I wanted to make the neck look really skinny because I wanted my face and my smile to look really big. So I'm drawing, or painting rather, black stripes on the sides of my neck. And you can go as low as you want. I'm just going like down to my chest. And I'm starting to make a furry neck so I'm starting with pink I'm making it furry so I'm going using like big strokes going towards the outer area where like the black is so it looks like I'm, I have a furry furry neck going in with lavender I'm making that look super furry you do kind of doing X kind of motions on my neck so it looks like super super furry and kind of messy a little bit now I'm bringing in the white so it looks like it's a little bit more detailed and then I'm also bringing in that dark purple and just kind of giving a little bit of mix like the face has. I'm making that side a little bit more dark and I'm kind of sliding it into the neck so you could see like the fur like and how, it, how it's like more detailed that way. Now I'm going to take this dark purple and that light pink and we're going to smudge that under the lash line. I'm using an E21 again by Sigma. I'm just smudging that in there. Gonna use the Bad Girl Bang Mascara again and just kind of bringing those lashes to life. I love lower lash mascara. It's like, like one of my favorite things ever and I feel like a lot of people don't like it, which is interesting. I'm going to put some whiskers on because what is a cat without whiskers? And then I'm kind of using a little like dot motion to kind of use some messy freckles or put some messy freckles and I felt like no like Halloween look that I've done is ever complete without glitter so I wanted to use the mermaid glitter by Tarte I'm just using an angled brush to kind of put this everywhere it's a nice gel so it's super easy you don't need an adhesive and I'm just gonna put that on the neck as well just spreading that out just so this cat has a little glow it's a modern Cheshire glam cat if you know what I mean so I'm just putting that on the forehead I also put it on the inner corner for my inner corner highlight and on the brow area as well which I really really love the way that came out because it's like a translucent glitter so it's super pretty but that is it you guys I hope you've enjoyed this Cheshire cat look I might be doing one more um, Halloween look but you'll have to stay tuned let me know what you guys want to see for fall because it is fall. So let me know what you guys want to see below. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you later. Bye.